Hey folks, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Cold Gin on guitar by Kiss. <laughs> This is a great song for beginners to practice lots of easy riffs. Now they're tuned to E flat, so just tune each string down a semitone. I'll leave my guitar in standard E tuning. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you're having any problems with this song, leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. So let's get into it. So for the intro we're going to start with an open A string. Play the 7th fret on the D and the 9th fret on the G and we do that once. And then we just slide back 2 frets, still open A, 5 on the D, 7 on the G, do that once. Then just take your first finger back to the 4th fret on the D, still the 7 on the G. Back to 5 and 7, 4 and 7, 5 and 7. And then when we play that 5 and 7 we're going to slide back up to our start one seven and nine so, and then just play oh seven and nine again and that's pretty much the main riff to the song sometimes we have two at the start sometimes we have one so let me play that slowly for you now so you can hear how that's going to sound and then we'll do it up to tempo And then the next time through is exactly the same, except we put two of our open seven, nine at the start. And all the rest stays the same. Then we do the start again, just with one at the start. And then we do it five times, and each time we're gonna put two at the start there. So. do that five times and that's our intro. So let me play that start part for you there. do that last part five times here. Then we have the second guitar and this comes in the third time through the riff. We're just going to play an open A PL chord. So open A string, second fret on the D and the G. And we hold that for a bar. And then we play the open A string. Second fret slide to fourth fret on the A string. And then just play the second fret on the D string. Then do that again. And then finish with our A PL chord. So that's not too hard, let me do that up to speed for you. So. And that's guitar two, and that comes in the third time on that third main riff. Okay, so let's have a look at the first verse now. Okay, so we're gonna start on this chord here for our verse. Open A string, seventh fret on the D, ninth on the G, and 10 on the B. And we're gonna play that two times and stop. And then we just take that back two frets and do it again two times. And then do your main riff that we did in the intro, do that through once. And we do that four times, let me play that a couple of times for you there. So we do that four times and then to finish off, we do the main riff again, but start two times on the first chord. And that's our first verse. So let me play the first line through a couple of times and then that second part there. And then 
then from there we've got our chorus, let's jump into that now. Then for the chorus we're going to start with the E power chord, we're going to have the 7th fret on the A string, the 9th fret on the D and the G and do that two times. Stop it, then do another two times. Then we're going to do mutes, we're going to do down, up, down, up. Then we're going to do this E minor 7 chord but we're only playing the D, G and B string. So we're going to have 9th fret on the D, 7 on the G and 8 on the B, play that once. And then just go back to the D, so we're just going back to 7th fret on the D, G and B. So. And we do that three times. And then after we've done that three times, we're just going to finish on the E power chord again two times. Then we've got this little fill, we're going to bend on the 14th fret on the G, hold down the 12th fret on the B and the E and play them together. And that's the fill at the end of the first chorus. So let me play that chorus for you so you can hear how it's going to sound. It's not too hard, the only tricky part is the E minor 7 to the D there. So let's try that. our chorus then we have a chorus end on that and then the chorus end we're going to play our intro fill again just once on the first chord but this time we're going to put the eighth foot on the E string in there at the end then do it again do the first chord two times put the eight in again do it again and then the last time, two times again, we don't put the eight in. So let me play that chorus end for you now. our chorus end. From there we're going to have our second verse. It's going to be similar to the first verse except we're going to be putting those eights again on the E string. So let's have a look at that now. Okay so we have the chords the same as we did in the first verse two times. Stop back two times. Then we put the eight in and back to our main riff. Then do that again except leave out the eight and we're going to do that another two times. Main riff. Again. Main riff. Now this time we're going to put the 18 and play the riff again. And that's the second verse there, so let me play that for you. It's not too hard, we're just throwing the 18 there. So let's have a go at that. That's our second verse, it's nearly the same as the first verse but we've got that 8 on the E string. From there we go into our second chorus and that's exactly the same as the first chorus except we only slide down on the third time and the fill at the end changes. So let's try that now. We're going to have 12 on the E string, hammer on to 15, pull off the 12 and then play 15 on the B. Then do the same on the B, 12, 15, 12, hammer on, pull off. 14 on the G. Then on the G12, 14, 12, hammer on and pull off. 14 on the D, do the same on the D, 12, 14, 12, and then 14 on the A. So slowly. And that's the fill at the end instead of doing our bend on the 14. So let's do that up to speed, it's not too hard. And again. 
that's the fill at the end of the second chorus. Now the next chorus ends a little bit different again. We're going to have our main riff, just at once at the start. Do the eight on the E string. Two times on our first chord. And the eight again. And do that again. And then just finish. And then we're going to end on the G chord here, so, so just 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string, open D and G, 3rd fret on the B and the E, and G chord we're going to end. So let me play that chorus end for you, it's not too hard. We're just cutting the riff down. So. G there, so let me play that for you now. the end of our chorus end or the second chorus end there we're just going to that G chord so then from there we go into our bridge so let's have a look at that now so for the bridge we're going to start on the G power chord third fret on the E fifth fret on the A and the D do that two times and just come down a string on a C power chord third fret on the A fifth on the D and the G do that two times then third fret on the A we're going to play three three pull for the two three, two, and then three, three, pull off the two, three, and then one on the E, so slowly. And then we just go back to the G power chord again two times, C power chord two times. Now this time we're just gonna do hammer-ons between three and two, so start on the three, pull off the two, hammer on to three, so. And then we're going to finish on the three and then play the F again. So first fret on the E string. And we do that through two times. So let me do that slowly for you. And two times. And then we just move up. We're going to play the A power chord, fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the D sorry the A and the D, do that two times and then a D power chord, 5th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D and the G two times now we're going to do that riff exactly the same but we've moved it up two frets so on the A string, 5, 5, pull off the 4, 5, 4 and then again 5, 5, pull off the 4, 5 and then 3 and then we do that again, the A and the D and then we just do our Pull off hammer on between five and four. Finish on the five and then go to the three on the A string. And then we do that again. Again. Now this time we're just gonna continue with our five. Pull off to four there, hammer on back onto five. And finish on the four there. And then from there we've got two guitar parts here. So I'll show you the ace frilly part first. We're gonna come up to the ninth fret on the D and the G two times. And then we're gonna play it again and hammer onto the 11th fret on the D string. Play the ninth fret on the G string and then do that again, nine. Hammer onto 11, playing the D and the G. And then nine G, nine D. So slowly. And we do it three times. So up to speed, not too hard, there's a little blues lick there. And then to finish that off, we're going to play the E power chord, seventh fret on the A, ninth on the D and the G. Then come back to the D power chord, 5th fret on the A, 7th on the D and the G. And then just go back to the 4th fret on the A string, keep the 7th fret on the D and the G. So. 
and that finishes that little riff off there. Now there's another guitar part and I'll show you that in a minute. So let me play that whole section for you. It can be a little bit tricky with all the pull-ins and hammer-offs there, starting on our G. <laughs> Now it's just doing it on this end part. We're going to play our E power chord two times. And this time we're going to do seven on the A string hammer onto 11. And then play the nine on the D. So, and do that again. And finish on the seven on the A string. And we just do that three times. So it's like a blues riff again there. So let's try that up to speed. It's not too hard. down with the chords again. So that's playing over the top of our That's the second part there. So after our bridge we're going back into the intro again. Now guitar 2 is just going to play this A chord. So just open A string 2nd fret on the D and the G 5th fret on the B and the E. And that just holds through while the riff's playing. So we do it once. Two times. And that's it. Then we go back into the chorus again. And again, we just do the slide the third time through. And then we have this little fill again, which changes. We're going to play the 13 on the G, 12 on the B and the E, 14 on the G, 12 on the B and the E, 15 on the G, 12 on B, E, and back to 12 on the B there. So that can be a little bit tricky. So let's try that slowly. And up to speed. And that's that little fill that guitar's doing at the end of the chorus. And then from there we're finishing off with our chorus end. So we've just got our main riff again. Put the eight in on the E string. And then do two times in the first chord. And again. And again. And then to finish off, we're going to play the open A string, 7th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B. And you can just finish it there. And the second guitar is just playing the A chord. So open A string, 2nd fret on the D, G and B. So let me just play that chorus end for you. And that's all the parts of the song. And you can just finish it on the A chord there. So that's all the parts to the song. It's not too hard. Probably the hardest bit in the song is the little bridge bit, getting all the hammer-ons and pull-offs there, and then moving up two frets and doing the same thing. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.